Bob Dylan is, that guy opened the door for music. If you don't know anything about the Newport Festival, like, that changed everything. I could just be quoting my um, rock history music teacher, but he's, he's pretty legit and it seems to be proven in a lot of places when I do my research. So, Bob Dylan was the person who I am opened up all the doors by first introducing electric guitars and distortion into a live performance. Before that was just unheard of. It, it just was not something people did. So when it happened, it was at the Newport Festival. He, pro he played folk music, he pulled out his electric guitar, and he started playing with distortion. Half the crowd recognized his music and they liked it, but half the crowd didn't. Half were just so in tune with acoustic music. Distortion was just not friendly, so to speak. It was as bad as the devil. It was like, it's unnatural. What is wrong with you? You know, it's kind of like, we get little semblances of things like that these days, not necessarily with exactly what I'm talking about, but in the sense of that. Um, if you don't know more about Bob Dylan, also it's rumored that he's the reason that the Beatles got into car. He opened up the doorway to drugs for them. Like before, you know, if you knew anything about the Beatles, they're just another band from Liverpool. Um, there used to be a couple like badass motherfuckers smoking cigarettes and shit up until the point where they came to America and to come to America they had to dress really nice and a lot of white, do that, you know, bowl cut, look like little good boys, which was very fruitful of an endeavor for them, like without a doubt. So Bob Dylan is apparently the one who showed him after they came to America what smoking weed was like. Uh, I, my teacher back in my rock history class in the college was able to show me before. It's probably like eight years ago. But there was this clip art video and it's pretty funny. It's like, Ringo, you try it first, right? So, you know, Ringo. If, if you don't get the joke about Ringo, it, it makes me feel old. But, <laughs> Let's move on. Bob Dylan's still around. And just released a new album. Um, False Prophet is a song that will be reviewed today. Yeah! Doesn't do any guitar solos or something because uh, <laughs> rare time do I hear him coming out with one. Um, that was fantastic. There's something that's really hard to find nowadays. It's consistency. And if there's something that a lot of people, especially people that were in bands or musician, musicians, artists, that we all like, at least that I know of, that we agree on, is that a lot of the older type of generation music, um, Iron Maiden, DC, you know, those types, even we're just, we're talking about bands as a generic way to say it. Um, Van Halen, Eddie, whatever, Jimi Hendrix. Everyone had a consistency with their own specific style and that's what made them all specifically stand out. Today we have so much hybrid music that they're all, you can tell they derive from what we listened to and just a couple decades ago. And at that point, like, it's kind of strange how quickly we've moved on to this point where everything sounds the same. But even now, right now, Bob Dylan, like, you, you can sit there and be like, I've heard this before, but at the same time, we haven't heard this before. I'm like, that song was False Prophet. If you didn't really catch what it was talked about, you can find the lyrics and it's, it's actually pretty good meaning behind that. Um, he's always been a spokesperson, I'd say. Um, his, his, he's like a Johnny Cash, pretty much. Like, he walks up, he's not really singing, he's just kind of telling you like it is and he's got his own beat to his own drum he's got his own vibe about him his own sound that he plays that goes along with what he's saying 
and you can't just help but listen. And he's been doing the same thing. I don't know what year it is, 2020, 60 years, huh? Maybe, maybe 50, 60 years, something, something around that. But overall, he's still completely solid. He fails to, doesn't never fails to like impress. Despite his age. Um, I give that song a great nine out of ten. Like, you don't need a lot of elements to make a great song. You just need the song to be right. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like right there, just, the song just needs to be right. You can have one instrument just as much as him and his voice. I mean, you could take out the drums and it still sounds like him. I'm like, you can put the drums in there and it sounds like him. If, yeah! I'm your fingers, but. Either way, you get, if you don't get what I'm saying, I'm sorry, but I think it's pretty clear with what I'm saying, in my opinion, and the music in general is not something.